So today I just want to uh, show you real quick on a Ryobi CS30 weed eater. I'm going to change the fuel tank and the fuel, fuel filter. Um, so I bought off Amazon this little like $10 gets you this assembly fuel tank and it's got the lid with the assembly as well as the uh, fuel filter down in there. And what I did was uh, just turn this hose here. Um, and as I'm turning it, I looked in to see which one um, made the fuel filter turn. So I know that this one in the back here on the farthest edge is connected to the fuel filter. So I connect that one up appropriately on the carburetor when I'm done. So once you did that, then you um, take a Torx T25 uh, screwdriver. So a Torx is uh, not a Phillips head or, um, or a flathead. But uh, Torx T25, mine's kind of rubbed off um, there, but you can kind of see it's a Torx wrench. And you take off the screws along the back. Um, you should have four, five, six screws um, to take off on the back. Um, second one's right there. And then these four right there. And then the tank is basically just squeezed between there and the front housing. And you can pull the tank out. So once you pull that back housing off, which is uh, this piece here, um, you can take the uh, tank loose at that point, but it'll still be connected by these two hoses. And as I said, the back one is the feed line, so it's uh, connected to the filter. It goes on this outboard um, tube here, and this other one is then the return. And uh, so what I did to get those off the best way is just to uh, reach up there while the tubes are on there, while the hoses are on there, and just pull those off with some needle nose pliers. You get that off. And then um, the reverse is quite easy. Take the new assembly. It's got a little guard here, a little strap. You put that over, and you push it up in there and put that back cover on, reinsert the six screws. Connect these two hoses, the outboard one to the outboard pipe there, and you are good to go. Fill it up and see how she runs. So now you can see I've got the new tank installed. These four bolts back in. These two screws at the top back in. Um, the only thing to keep in mind is when you're putting these uh, four bottom ones back in, you've got a gasket there as that seals off the uh, piston cavity, so you want to make sure you get that gasket back down. Only thing I have left to do is hook up these two fuel lines to those two uh, uh, nipples there and I'm ready to go.